can be different for any woman. And, you know, there's been this definition of where it is, and typically in the definition, it's on the anterior part of the vagina. But the anterior vaginal wall. Yes, on the anterior. That's where it's defined. But really, okay. as we're starting to get more information, it's probably just an extension of the clitoris, which actually extends back into that area. Um, but really, a lot of women don't have orgasm from vaginal penetration because she, she has so many erogenous zones that could be um, more of a wow zone for her, whether it's her nipples or you know some other part of her body. So you really have to ask your partner what is their I call it what is their G spot or their wow spot. And the most important thing is. Never stop searching. No. Never, <laughs> never stop it's spending a good time together. Never Thank you for joining us. And you can check out all the episodes of Seven Days of Sex and Thursdays at 10, 9 Central on Lifetime. And up next, the most important thing you can do tonight, other than sex, that will improve your complexion and increase your overall energy. Tomorrow on The Doctors. If you're looking to bring your sexy back, you've come to the right place. And the doctors are kicking it off with a queen of the Kardashian empire, Kris Jenner. How many shows have you been on that we have <laughs> on stage? This is pretty sexy. <laughs> I, I think this is why I had so many kids. The Pleasure Principles, all new on The Doctors. Tomorrow and then on Thursday. The high-tech brain scan that may put an end to marriage therapy. So it gives us information that most psychologists never get. Understanding the opposite sex. All new on The Doctors. Coming on Thursday. We're back talking about secrets to getting a better body in just seven days, and Dr. Orton is ready to reveal one of the best kept beauty secrets. The body needs sleep in the same way that a car needs gasoline, especially due to the fact that the average adult sleeps 24 years of their life. So here are my favorite ways of ensuring a full night of uninterrupted sleep. Number one, take a bubble bath. Not only does it relax your muscles, it 
also raises your core body temperature. When you get out, your temperature drops, which helps your body release melatonin, the sleep hormone. Tip number two, make sure you get your bedroom nice and dark. Darkness activates melatonin, light suppresses it. And, very important, turn that alarm clock away from you and no cell phones or television. Number three, sleep in satin. What I'm talking about, satin pillowcases. That relieves pressure on the bones and skin of the face. And you know what that means, less wrinkles. Sweet dreams. Good stuff. Good tips. <laughs> you can find these sleep tips and more in my book, Better in Seven, published by the doctor's executive producer, Jay McGraw. And coming up, one more tip to help increase your energy and improve your heart health at the same time, and it's completely free. When you have diabetes, being overweight or obese increases your risk for complications. On today's Prescription for Health by our friends at CVS Pharmacy, pharmacist Yushima Thomas and I will give you tips on how to control your diet and manage your weight when you have diabetes. People with diabetes should keep track of the carbohydrates they eat each day. The majority of the carbs they eat should be whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These types of carbs will convert into glucose in your bloodstream more slowly, and that helps keep your blood sugar steady. It'll help keep you fuller longer so you won't feel the need to eat as much. To keep track of your carbs, read the nutrition facts label included on most packaged foods to find out how many servings you're getting. But work closely with your doctor while you're dieting because your blood sugar, insulin, and medications need to work in tandem. As always, be sure to consult your doctor with any concerns about your health. For education and tips, visit cvs.com forward slash diabetes. Closed captioning provided by...
if you're heading for Hollywood, California and would like to sit in our studio audience, please log on to our website at thedoctorstv.com or call area code 323-THE-DOCS. That's 323-THE-DOCS for show tickets. Come on down. For our final tip of the day, learn how to laugh. Just 15 minutes a day of laughing. It gives your cardiovascular system a little boost. It decreases stress. It's literally like exercise. And believe it or not, laughing is one step towards reducing your cardiovascular risk factors. <laughs> and it can be going onto YouTube, finding a funny video, looking up a funny joke. Laughing at you. Hanging out with or this yourself. Guy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we do, when we host this show, I will say we have some good times. Yep. Yep. And you know, this has been uh, a great show. Loved hearing about your book. Thank yeah. you. And I, I'm going to defer doctor's orders to you today, Dr. Orton. Well, Ooh. today's doctor orders are that, that when you think about it, little steps can, can lead to big results. And in this book, which I had a lot of fun writing, is it based on hard science? No, it's sort of anecdotal. But there's a lot of great things to look better. But ultimately, they're based on diet and exercise and using all natural products that in the long run are going to be good for your health as well. So, so my doctor's orders are if you, if you live, live well, live right, you're going to look better too. And if you want more information on today's show or to find out about an opportunity to win a copy of Drew's book, Better in 7, visit thedoctorstv.com. The book can be purchased exclusively on Jay McGraw's online bookstore, thebooknook.com. And Jay would like everyone in the audience to go home with a copy of Dr. Woo! Woo! So you can read it and enjoy it. And we want to thank everyone at home for watching. And we'll see you next time.